Hey everybody, it's Kevin Weiss from BodyPerformance.net and today I'm teaming with Riptone Fitness Products to bring you this video on five ways to increase your bench press without bench press. So in order to increase your bench press over time, you're gonna have to bench a lot and you're gonna have to bench frequently. This can lead to some shoulder problems, some stability, and also some muscle imbalances. So these exercises that I'm gonna to show today are gonna to address that and hopefully allow you to bench press more often and keep your shoulders safe. So the first exercise I like to do is just a simple hang. I just hang straight down from a bar. I don't bounce around a lot and put extra stress on the shoulders. I am just trying to get a stretch and I'm just relaxing into a stretch at the bottom. This takes a little bit of pressure off of the shoulders and also stretches out your lats as well. So the next one I like to do, I call lat shrugs. It's a progression from the hang where you hang straight down, but then you try and pull your shoulder blades down and back. Try and keep your arms as straight as you can and let the shoulder blades do all the work. Next up is the Arnold press. I prefer this over the regular shoulder press because turning your arms in and out make the shoulder blades work in a more natural fashion. Make sure at the top of the movement that your arm is covering your ear if you're looking at it from the side. Don't let the dumbbell be in front of your head and lean back. Now we have the one hand overhead squat. This is a very challenging exercise and not everybody is going to be able to do it. If when you squat down the dumbbell or kettlebell or whatever you decide to use goes forward and you're holding it in front of your head instead of straight over your head, then I wouldn't recommend doing this exercise at all. But if you're able to keep the dumbbell or kettlebell straight up and your shoulder down and packed, it really helps you provide a lot of stability into your shoulder and because you're doing it one hand at a time, one side cannot compensate for the other. Make sure that you're not twisting too much from side to side while you're doing it and you're really keeping control of the movement. So now we come to the fifth exercise and I may have lied a little bit because this is actually a bench press exercise. Except for it's with dumbbells and it's with your feet up. So it's a lot different than doing a standard bench press. This takes away a lot of the balance from your legs and really makes you focus on stability in your shoulders and pressing evenly from side to side. You're gonna to have to swallow your ego here a little bit and make sure that you use an appropriate weight that you can control from top to bottom. So there's many ways to keep your shoulders healthy and address muscle imbalances. These are just five of the ones that I use. Hopefully they help you increase your bench press in the long term and keep you healthy and injury free. I'm Kevin Weiss, bodyperformance.net teaming with Riptone Fitness Products. I'm going to talk to you again real soon.